John Rucci, Sikorsky test pilot, assigned to the 53K program. The objectives were twofold here at Yuma. One was to get the hot conditions of Yuma, uh, reaching 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Secondly, was for the sand and the degraded visual environment that it uh, provides during the landing phase where the sand actually engulfs the aircraft and reduces the visibility. So from the cockpit perspective, as the dust cloud billows in front of the aircraft as it comes to a hover, it effectively cuts away the pilot's view of the ground. The testing we performed, stable hover, and we were able to conduct that with nearly zero visibility from the cockpit. My overall impression of the CH-53K since first flight, and even before that in the ground test vehicle, it's humbling and it's awe-inspiring to be around it. The capability of the helicopter is uh, so beyond anything that we've ever produced for the Marine Corps customer. I think they're gonna be extremely happy when they get this aircraft to the fleet.